Hello, I'm Andy Moe from the Viking Axe in Macclesfield. Now we get very often asked, will the axe come bouncing back and cause us harm? Well, no, not really. Um, now you've seen the videos where they do come back and they come back in an alarming way. Now, we have a rubber ball. Now if I throw the rubber ball at the target, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to come back because it's rubber. Now, they, the uh, World Axe Throwing League have put together guidelines as to how to keep the environment safe. So, a divider either side of a single target, yeah. Uh, matting that will absorb energy, yep. Yeah. Uh, the abolition of rubber matting, yep. Yeah. What they haven't addressed. And I'm surprised they haven't done that, is they haven't addressed the issue of a rubber-handled axe. Now, a rubber-handled axe, it's really difficult to get it to do it on a consistent basis, but it will bounce back at you at an alarming speed, exactly like they do in the video. Because it's rubber, right? Rubber bounces. So, <clears throat> what you need is a wooden handle. Now, with the wooden handles, yeah, they can come back. I've seen videos where they've come back, but they've been thrown at ridiculous amount of power. All you need to do is to throw the axe does the rest. So, lots of power, no. So that's that one, that problem solved. The other thing is that if these particular axes, these are actually Merovingian axes or Francisca axes, these were designed um, 500 AD. And they were used by the Germanic tribes, by uh, the Franks, by the Anglo-Saxons and by the Vikings. You know, this, this was the go-to throwing object. It is designed to fly. Now, if it hits handle first, which is what causes these things to bounce back, It's come off, it's come loose. It's not a health and safety issue because it's indexed forward. Um, but it's absorbed all that kinetic energy. So these things, if they hit handle first, which is exactly what causes the rubber ones to come flying back, it just stops dead. We pull the head up to the top of the handle. We give it a knock on our knock blocks and you're good and solid and ready to go again. And that's a safe object to throw. Rubber handled axes, if you have a rubber handled axe like this and think, I'm gonna go into the garden, I'm gonna have a play with this, don't. It will be dangerous. If you go to an axe throwing establishment and they give you a rubber handled axe, walk away. Ask for your money back, walk away, because that will hurt you. End of. Now this isn't a hypothesis. This is not a th this is not a theory. This is the laws of physics. The laws of physics say if you throw something that is rubberized, it is going to bounce. So in our in our establishment here, we have thrown hundreds of thousands of axes, hundreds of thousands, and we've never encountered that problem because by the law of physics, it just cannot occur. So. That's just the way it is. So, leave that with you, and I look forward to hearing from you as to what you think. But this isn't really up for debate. This is just the way it is. I'm Andy Mayer from the Viking Axe in Macclesfield. Take care. Bye-bye.